Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and the American Sandinista Communists are active once again. This time at NYU on Thursday night is uh, protesters gathered to voice their disgust with conservative actor and vice media co-founder Gavin McInnes, who was inside holding a seminar for the school's college Republicans. You see, what they're doing, these Sandinista communists are using violence and protests, violent protests and rioting to silence conservative voices. They want to silence all conservative voices. They hate freedom. They hate the, uh, they hate Everything there is American, basically. These these are not Americans as far as I'm concerned. They hate representative government. NYPD was out full force on Thursday night as protesters gathered their voice and discussed with conservative actor and vice media co founder Gavin McInnes, who was holding a seminar for the school's college Republicans. Just saw four fans of cops unload outside of NYU anti FA protest of Gavin in his talk. Jason Miller tweeted around 7 p.m. Thursday. It can, they are threatening to arrest everyone in the herd now. Good. Each cop with roughly 8 to 10 zip ties in tow. NYU local universities. Independent news source also took to Twitter to alert the public of the situation taking place out the ki outside of the Kimmel Rosenthal Pavilion on Thursday night. Arrests happening outside of the Kimmel. Eleven people were arrested. The candidates who left Vice in 2008 have been scheduled to talk to the New York NYU College Republicans at 7 p.m was later spotted on Periscope Live video speaking at the podium and shouting at protesters who managed to make it inside the venue. These are communists. They're not protesters in the traditional sense. Whose campus? Our campus. Demonstrators yelled at McKin as McKinnis attempted to speak. They are trying to silence free speech. This is the same crowd that tells us about so-called fake news. It's the same crowd. Shame, 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 the crowd that had. Why are you repeating the same nonsense over and over? McKinnis asked one point before railing up protesters even more. After a few more minutes of back and forth, the controversial comedian appeared to end the speech early, telling an NYU spokesperson, You're a dumb liberal asshole, and you think these are rational beings before storming away, NYU local reports. Gavin left the podium, does not intend to come back, the news source tweeted, leads with the aforementioned skating remark to university spokesman. McKinnis almost didn't even make it inside on Thursday night on account of the anti-FA protesters rushing him at the entrance, according to his moto reporter Anna Merlin. Cops shoved them back, took the guy to the ground. She tweeted, got a guy in a MAGA hat, threw a punch. As we get us under, the unruly crowd chanted things like, Nazi scum, your time has come, while also lighting making America great again hats on fire. Looks like someone might have been trying to spray paint something at McKinnis. Hopefully there. We're on tweeted, and at least one pro-Trump spectator was also busted. Cops arresting a MAGA fan who just saw the reporter. NYP didn't seem to. But the rest of us did. Well, protests were apparently organized on Facebook and the name Disrupt 
Gavin McGinnis at NYU. See, they're trying to stop speech. I said this before. These are communist scum. They are American Sandinista communists. There's no way Sands are about spot. They are communists. They're not the Sandinistas of uh, Nicaragua, obviously. They use the term somewhat tongue-in-cheek, but they are communists. That part I'm not using tongue-in-cheek. Um, this is a communist revolt that we have going on in this country, and somebody's got to do something about it. I'm sorry. We have Hollywood calling for revolution, and it's just getting out of hand. And I'm going to issue a warning to you people on the left. Keep it up. You try, you try overthrowing government with force. You're going to be badly outgunned. You're not going to be outgunned a little. But you're going to be badly outgunned because the military is not going to join you. Uh, so just go ahead and try. Military is going to be on Trump's side. And a whole lot of us are going to be on Trump's side. So I'll just go ahead and try. That way, uh, your numbers will be seriously reduced. Uh, hi, Captain Picard of uh, Star Trek Planet. It's a contest in which you will be at a serious disadvantage. So, a word of the wise is sufficient. Uh, you people, you leftists that are causing this problem, I'm not talking about some liberal who's, a, you know, might be a doctor somewhere, just wants to lead his life. He's a liberal. Those aren't troublemakers. It's these uh, communists that are bust into these places and organized by. Soros and such. So we're the wise is sufficient. You better back off while you still can. If you try overthrowing this country the way you're talking, you're uh, going to find out how nasty it can get for you. Just a word of warning from our facts of Mars. As you people are talking about overthrowing the country, not us. We want to lead our lives. We chose our president. That's it. We chose our president. You people had your shot. You lost. Get over it. We just want to lead, lead our lives. We don't want no trouble. But if trouble comes our way, you're going to have a real hard place set down. I'm Artifacts Mars. I approve this message.